All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Nikki. This is Caleb, and we're here at the, how do you pronounce this trail? Nana McComick. Nana McComick. Backcountry ski trail here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, which we are based out of, where we do most of our adventures. It's a bluebird day. We just got about a fresh foot of snow a couple days ago. We haven't got to ski this trail in a couple years because of the lack of snow. So we're pretty excited for gear today. We're using our Fisher X S bound 112s, big fat cross country Nordic skis, backcountry Nordic skis. So hopefully this is the right tool for the job today. So I'm excited for this ski because it is so nice out today and I'm lacking in the vitamin D this winter. Oh man, I think these are the only tools for the yeah. job right now. Look how much snow there is. I think you love just getting a little wax on them because this tends to be a day where your skis can get a little sticky. Yeah, it's kind of spring-like yeah. conditions today, so I'm excited because yeah. we don't get to do this trail very often. Let's get to it. So right off the rip on this little tour, you get you go right over this awesome bridge to this beautiful gorge, and it looks so cool in the winter, all frozen the way it is, and the water's still flowing, which is awesome. Love this. It's called Rocky Gorge. Let the light pour in in the colors run Like midnight skies need northern stars I think home It's kind of scary with the trees though. Are we gonna... It's we really windy but... Are we at danger with the... I don't feel like we are right now. Honey, I need you, the only one Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh god. <laughs> Lost your tracks, they just ended. Holy crap, is it deep? <laughs> oh my god. Fireflies and fields of gold. Yeah, keep your, when you can hear those gusts, look up right away. This is slow going. One thing that I always keep in mind when we're trudging through shit like this is that going back will be way easier and that we're only helping ourselves. Yep, you're making your own fun for the way down by creating your tracks. And my own grave. Man, listen to that wind. The wind is really cool right now because you can hear it howling from a distance but gaining proximity to where you are. And with all the pines that are in this area, the way it kind of has this wispy tone is really, really soothing. The creaking of the trees is really neat. Really a perfect day. The way the sun is. All the needles on the trees have this like glisten to them. Not a cloud in the sky. Love living here. I don't know what it is. Certain parts of the wilderness I feel more connected to than others. I don't know if anybody else has that, but every time I come to this part of the White Mountains, I'm always really, feel really tuned in to what's around me. And this area, I always get that feeling. It, it's like, it kind of just rises up and I notice it right away. And it's like, I never want to leave it. I don't know, anybody else ever get like that? Drop a comment. Let me know if there's certain parts of woods or mountains or ocean that you immediately feel like you're a part of it, like you're right blended into it. All right, let's get this down. I see a dog down there. It looks cool. Oh my gosh. This is sketchy. 
coming down this. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> the guy had no control. You can't turn the skis because they get they get wedged into the track, the snowshoe track. Oh God. So, oh boy. so we've only gone three quarters of a mile. In a half hour. In a half hour. And the reason it probably is taking a half hour is because of this. Literally, I'm snow plowing. You are plowing snow. <laughs> it's like... Honestly, I think I... I don't know. I've Something I've done many times when in the spring-like conditions that we have that's wet or sticky or snow, I always wax the scales, the climbing scales on the bottom of the skis because in these type of conditions, that's the number one spot the snow sticks. And I've never had a tr problem getting grip in the snow when I do that. And this time... I don't know, I can't get any, I can't get a single bit of uphill grip. Oh my God. And it's deep as hell. So we're gonna um, adjust course here and see what happens. Man, I really wanna, this, tra this trail man is like elusive with us. Does that shirt just permanently smell? Yeah, this thing's pretty gross. I could actually smell it through my jacket as I was skiing. Wow. <laughs> to be fair, I did pull it out of the dirty hamper, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut that adventure a little short, but still had a nice outing. There's some nice, nice shots. The river looked beautiful. The woods were just really cool. But the snow was so deep, and we just weren't getting enough grip today on the climbing side of things. The trees were kind of cracking all around us. That you could hear was stuff the worst breaking. Part. It was actually pretty, it was probably a good idea to maybe not push it too much further. But we're gonna go to the town of North Conway. And we're gonna go to our favorite coffee shop, Frontside Grind, get some coffee. I wanna do gonna, some wheeling. And, you wanna, and Nick, he wants to do some, some snow wheeling. wheeling in the truck. So <laughs> we're gonna find some, a spot to maybe do some snow, <laughs> snow wheeling. We'll see you in a sec. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so scary. 